thing you can say about it, win, lose, or draw, Habersham's ball games have been exciting. <laughs> they have definitely <laughs> been exciting, and, uh, you know, they've kept us on the edge yeah, of our seat, Don't leave early. Uh, more so than, than we wanted them to, and they haven't all finished the way we wanted them to either, but uh, that's the great thing about this, this season, David, is that, you know, we've gone through some adversity, but we still can control our own destiny, and, yeah, we'd like to have some of those wins in your back pocket. You might have a little more confidence going down the stretch, but it only takes one, and you just hope for this group of coaches and these players that uh, that they can put it together tonight and get a big win here at home against Lanier. And, um, you know, this Lanier team really loaded last year on defense with some big-time uh, defensive linemen and linebackers, and well, mo most of those guys have gone, but they're still pretty strong over there, David. But. Um, I like our matchup better tonight against Lanier than, than I did last year. All right, we're just about set here for the kick. Habersham Central and Lanier, Lanier, and as I said, a great crowd on hand tonight for Habersham Central. Not quite full, but it's a great crowd. Habersham checks out on the field. Kicking it off for the Raiders will be Escamilla. And let's see, dropping back deep for the Longhorns. It's going to be difficult, Chris, to pick out all these numbers on these jerseys as well. Yeah. I can tell you the, that right now. Wearing the Texas orange numbers on the white shirts. Yeah. Don't Fuller. show up quite as good for us guys this far away anymore. Yeah. Fuller, Thompson, and yeah, Harper. And I, and I said it wrong. I thought they deferred. We're going to kick off to them. So Escamilla kicks. Oh, it's an onside kick, and we touched it early. I think Habersham's recovered it. And... Whose is it? Do we have a flag, or is it going to be Habersham ball, Chris? No flag, David. He just threw a spot down where we touched it, which was past the 50. Yeah, that's right. And uh, we called him retreating immediately, and it looks like it will be Habersham's ball, David. Officials are talking well, about it. I don't it. know. What are they talking about? Now they're saying maybe we touched it in front of the 50. Still, I think you're right, Chris. It looks like. That's Illegal all. touch, yeah. It was awfully close. I'm not sure who that first guy was but right at the 50, and he might have touched it. As both feet were up at Carson Taylor. Both feet were up in the air as he was reaching for it, and it was just so hard to tell if he was – they were going to say he touched it right on the 50 or just before the 50, but they'll say he touched it yeah. before it got 10 yards, and Lanier will start with the ball at the Habersham 49. We had them. They were backpedaling. Oh, they yeah. were not ready for it. We just got a little anxious. Calzada is the quarterback for the Horns, and he's going to hand the ball off, and then they get to about the 45 and caught from behind. So on the carry for the Longhorns was Polk. Tackle was made by Ferguson and Fell. So they got good yards on first. Almost got nine, maybe a little more than nine. They're working right to left. Second down and short. Calzada in a shotgun. Puts it back in motion from left to right. They're in the white. We're in the Navy. And they hand the ball off. They'll have the first down. They come to the near side. Breaks one tackle. The second and third man get him. Zach Ferguson jumped on the back of Polk. Ferguson was there along with uh, Donovan Curry. So they got the first down, Chris. Well, they defended it pretty well, David. Only picked up a couple, but only needed one to yeah. get the first down. But this little jet sweep back to the left, and we stayed at home. Carson Moore with good run support, recognized run, got up the field quickly, but that'll move the chains for the Longhorns. First and 10 for the Longhorns. Tall sweep over there to the eye back. They're going to try to go around that right side. That is Fuller, and Fuller not much this time at all. Chris got to about the 35-yard line. Tackle was made by Garrett Kinsey and Luke Wilson. Kinsey and Wilson on the tackle for the Raiders. Second down, eight. Ball is right on the 35-yard line. It's played by Pickett, the sophomore freshman. He, he recognized run and got up the field quickly and almost made a tackle at the line of scrimmage, but good, good effort by him. And they hand the ball off. Going to come around this left side. They got a little hole over there. He's at the 25, 20, 15, 10, 5 touchdown. Oh. Touchdown, Polk. The eye back, and he goes in almost untouched around that left side. And 35 yards gives him an early lead here, 6-0. Well, just tall sweep. They blocked it very well, but 
We didn't get out there to the edge very well. Donnie um, Curry thought he was getting held. I'm not sure if he wasn't getting held, but uh, you got to get off that block as well and, and, and try to make the tackle. But we went for the onside kick to start the game and was about a half a yard away from getting it. And the extra point is up, and it is no good. No good. Wide right. He mishit it. And you could tell it was going to be wide right. They capitalized on the onside kick attempt. Mark went four plays, 49 yards, and uh, we just didn't get upfield there on that toss sweep. They sealed us pretty good, but uh, it kind of it misses that extra point. Just takes a little bit of the sting out of it. Well, I knew we were going to do the extra point. I heard him, I mean, the onside kick, I heard him talking about it first week, so I was expecting that. And doggone, it's just kind of a, 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 a highlight of our season there. I mean, we're right there and we get the ball, but the ball bounces up a little early and hits Carson, who wasn't even trying to get the ball, and hits Carson in the shoulder about, I mean, a foot before the 50-yard line and grazes his shoulder, and as a result, they get the ball there at the 49 and a half. So that's just kind of typical the way our season's gone that we missed that onside kick. But you're right, we got to do a better job defense. We stuffed them on the right toss of the play before, but that time we just didn't get numbers over there, and they kind of walled us off pretty good. And where there was a hold or not, that doesn't matter. They broke three, and we had nobody there, and we just got to do a better job. We can't let them have 40-yard runs like that all night, or it's going to be a long night for Raiders. But they did miss the extra point, so maybe that's a good thing coming up ahead for us. That's four play, 49-yard drive. Just took them a minute, 35. So. Everson trails six to nothing with the missed extra point here against Lanier. Thank you. Going to kick it off for the Longhorns. Has his run and start. Gets his foot into it and gets it down to Donovan Curry at the eight yard line. Curry right up the middle. Curry's got some room. Oh, he got caught right to 35 yard line. Maybe across the 35 to the 36 yard line. Tackle was made there by Naku. Yeah, good blocking there. He had a they had a big gap right up the middle of the field and. If he could have bounced it to the right just a step sooner, he might have gotten to some opening and um, been able to really take that one down the field for some positive yards and maybe even touchdown. But we'll take it first and 10 from our own 37-yard uh, line. So Habersham out there offensively. They got Bergman, Ludwig, Grant, Wallace on that defensive front. Linebackers are Turner, Brown, Johnson, and Naku. And they're man-to-man -man with just, uh, let's see how they play the secondary. Habersham's got... Uh, Three wide, got a slot right, fake it, want to throw, going to go over the middle, got a man wide open, that's Westbrook in a little overthrown. Had Westbrook breaking open, but just out of his reach and incomplete. Uh, walked up a free safety and, and played him man to man and tearing with a skinny post right in the middle of the field. Had him beat by three yards and AJ just overthrew him. That was six. Yeah. If he takes a little off of it. Man. Second, second down 10, will scrimmage from our own 37 yard line. Westbrook with a really good route there, too. Just got to the inside of the free safety. Four wide, two on each side. And this time we're going to know we're going to fake it. Going to throw it out there late to our wide receiver. That is uh, Don, uh, Jim Barnett. Barnett going to have a first down as he got hit out of bounds around the 49-yard line. Tackle was made there by Thompson, O'Darian Thompson. That's that run-throw option play that we really had gotten away from. Hadn't seen it in four, three or four weeks. And um, Jim just settles at the line of scrimmage, giving a big cushion over here. A.J. elected to throw it to him instead of running it. So that pass play covered 12 yards. We're in a shotgun. We got four wide. We got uh, Westbrook and Barnett over here on the right. Got two on the left. And the empty set going to come there. Side a little screen there for Jim Barnett. Barnett looking for some blocks. Going to have some good yards, though. He'll have at least eight before he's brought down. Tackle was made by Johnson along with uh, one of those safeties, Wise. Good block by Taryn Westbrook there. As we just went quick hitch over here to Jim as uh, uh, the cornerback number seven. Let's see, Thompson, Thompson giving him a giving him a good seven eight yard cushion there, and we'll we'll take that quick throw and eight yard gain. Pass play covered. Oh, there's an incomplete pass. That last pass play covered about uh, eight yards, and that was going to be incomplete. So now it's going to be third down and short, third and two. Well, just went to Jim on a. Just a quick hitch, all out pattern. I think AJ just missed through that one as it was well short and at the feet of Jim. So third down and two. We're at the Lanier 43-yard line. Got Weatherington in motion. 
And we, oh, we give it to our running back. And there he goes. There goes Hinshaw. Hinshaw. He's at the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Touchdown, Baylor Hinshaw from 43 yards out. And Habersham's on the scoreboard right up the gut, Chris. <laughs> well, all credit goes to the big line up front because they opened up a big hole for Hinshaw. It's just a little dive play. And it looked like A.J. kept it, actually, but we stuck it in the belly of Hinshaw. I don't think he got touched until they tripped him up there at the three and he was able to keep his balance and dive into the end zone. So Habersham answers right back with a score of their own. As Camellia to give us the lead if he can stick this extra point up. There's the hole to kick. It's plenty strong. Looks good, and it is. Habersham leads by one. 7-6, 9-28 to go here in your opening quarter. Five plays, 63-yard score and drive by Habersham, and the Escamilla extra point gives us the lead now, 7-6. to six. Henshaw, one carry, and it was a big one, a 43-yarder for Habersham as he gets us on the board. And, Mark, just give the credit to that line up front. Yeah, Unt you're right. Untouched. Yeah, you're right. That's a big old hole there. I mean, there was nobody around him. I think Bader himself was surprised at how quick he burst open there and how wide open he was when he broke through. But, you know, that was our first run of that series. We threw the ball every play up to that point. So it was third and short. You had to think Lanier's thinking run maybe because we hadn't run it yet. And it was only third and three. But either the offensive line just blew them out or they were a little surprised that we ran the ball. So great answer by our offense there and good offense run. Good throwing by A.J. and catching by receivers. We missed a touchdown pass right off the bat. But, but boy, what a great uh, run by Baylor there and gets us the lead 7-6. to six. All right, they got uh, Harper back deep. There's the kick high and short. And it'll be up, caught by one of those up backs around the 23-yard line and brought down immediately. Well, we've been kicking it high and short to the right. That time we kicked it high and short to the left. And looking over there, we had four Navy shirts running right at him, and nobody was at home over there blocking for the return guy for Lanier. We really tackled him pretty much as soon as he called it. Great coverage. Good kick by Escamilla. Returned by Fuller, tackled by Westbrook. And now they've got first and 10. They're at the 27-yard line. They're on 27-yard line. Calzada in a shotgun, puts a man in motion. That's Fuller. Fuller from left to right stops. And they're going to hand the ball off right up the gut. And there they go. And they'll have 10 yards. As Poke on the carry, tackle made by Josh Pickett, our young freshman. So they got a, a first down. They move the chains here. Well, you obviously don't want your free safety making those tackles. Of course, when he does, they're eight, nine yards down the field. That's an easy game for them. We've we got to do better at filling the gaps. They got a man in motion again. It's Fuller. This time going right to left. Again, they hand it off to Poke. Right. Oh, boy, we get him this time in the backfield. Somebody got through there and knocked Poke down. That was Carl Fell. Yeah. Carl Fell got to Poke in the backfield. Now playing that backside linebacker position. He read the dive play or power play off left guard, and he just crashed the back backside uh, line of scrimmage. And, Gain of only uh, maybe a half a yard there. Yeah, he fell forward, so they gave him about a half yard. You're right, Chris. So it's second down, and we'll say a long nine. Habersham's got a forefront, almost a five. They got Fuller in motion play. Actually, going to go out to that man in motion. That is Fuller, and he's got some blocking in front of him, and he'll get across midfield to about the 47-yard line. He's pushed down there by Josh Pickett. So Pickett got the, got the man and brought him down. That was Fuller on the catch. Well, they just ran quick little swing pass out there, man to man out there with the wide out and the Ross, and the receiver was able to get him blocked to the outside. Pickett had to come up and make the tackle, but once again, 10 yards down the field. First down and 10, they flip flop the tight end sharp. I'm going to toss it over here to Pope. Pope looking for a hole, got brought down there by Donovan Curry. Donovan Curry at check it, got a new guy carrying the ball. Got a flag too, David, in the backfield over there on the side, far side. Tackle was made by Donovan Curry. See, the ball carrier was Barnes. That's kind of tackling we need to see from, from uh, our free safety, Donovan Curry. As he came flying up the field, made a good open field fundamental tackle. Illegal procedure, Chris, against the Longhorns. Back him up five instead of a gain of about three. It'll be first and 15. Got to have that run support. If you're in the secondary, you, you can't just think pass all the time. You've got to be a, a, a tackler. And 
we got to get those uh, secondary guys up the field sooner to help make those tackles. They've got four wide. The back is to the right of Calzada, the quarterback. He wants to throw, fumbles it, but got the pass off, and it's going to be incomplete. Pass was intended there for Harper, and it fell incomplete. Second down, 15. Longhorns trail Habersham by one, seven, six. They're looking at second down and 15 from their own 45-yard line. They're working right to left toward the scoreboard. They're in the white, Habersham in the Navy. They're up to the line. They flip-flop to tight end, Jacoby Sharp. And they're going to toss it there to the eye back, coming to the near side, and it spins back against the grain, but nowhere to go for Harper. Harper's brought down by about three or four blue jerseys. He tried to go to the near side and cut it back to the right and had nowhere to go as he ran into about three or four blue jerseys. Tackle was led by Curry and Ferguson. Well, that's a play that has hurt us a lot this year. Just a simple tall sweep and then a running back cut it back against the grain. And that time must a much better job of staying at home on that backside. But again, Donnie Curry up there with big time run support. Good to see that. They lost a yard actually gonna be third down and 16. Calzada in a shotgun, four wide, two on each side. Habersham with a three front. Our backers coming on the blitz. They pick it up, and they're going to throw, and it's going to be overthrown and incomplete. Pass was overthrown, intended for a fuller. Coverage was by Pickett. Good so coverage. They're, they're fourth down, a punting situation here, Chris. Good defensive stand there, and did a good job against the run there, and the penalty backed them up five, and we, we kept them right there for three downs. So good job there by the defense. Came with a blitz that time. Magovic almost got to the QB before he threw it, but it, it certainly made him pay the price on the throw as well. So they're in punt formation, and they get away a kick, a low kick, and Haversham's going to let it hit and roll, and it's going to die around the 14-yard line. Deku was the punter. A good defensive stand there, Mark. We're really good run support. I know I mentioned uh, Donovan twice, but that's the kind of tackling in the open field and run support that we, we've got to get out of our free safeties and cornerbacks. Man, that's got to give us confidence, Chris. We needed that after that quick uh, four-play drive that Lanier had a while ago for a pretty easy touchdown on their part. That is a good answer by our defense on the second drive by Lanier. And you're right, they did a better job of stringing those tall sweeps out. And I'm with you. I was impressed when that guy tried to cut it back. That has killed us all year. And that time we had people in their lanes waiting on him. And that was a big stop by our defense. First and 10 from the 14-yard line. Quick one out to the far side, and it's caught by Habersham Central. Not sure who that wideout was over there. May have been Bryce Tanner. Let's see. Yes, yeah, it Tanner. was Bryce Tanner that made the catch. Tackle was made, let's see, by Isaiah Smith. Got a solid eight yards on that pass play, Chris. And we're second down and two. Well, that's just a two-yard throw, and it turns into an eight-yard gain. And this time we give the ball off to Henshaw, and he doesn't have much at all. Lost a couple. Baylor Henshaw on the carry. Tackle was made by their big linebacker, Cameron Brown. Lost maybe a half yard. It'll be third. We'll still say two. Uh, I think the short throws that we've seen already uh, – Maybe Coach feel like he's got away from that a little bit more than he should have, just taking what, what they're giving us and making the easy throws. Third down, third and two, A.J. in an empty set. We got five wide. We got Westbrook and Barnett over here on the near side. Weatherton, Henshaw, and Bryce Tanner out there on the left. And now we got a timeout by our head coach, Benji Harrison. Timeout, 6-11 to go. Habersham leads by one, 7-6. Commercial break. We'll be right back. Technology is making it easier to be more mobile than ever before. That's one of the reasons why so many Windstream cable customers enjoy using Watch TV everywhere. You can watch your favorite shows, movies, and live news and sports. The best part, it's absolutely free to our cable customers. Get more value from your Windstream cable package by signing up at WatchTVEverywhere.com. Then grab your favorite device and start enjoying. Back here at Raider Stadium, it's early. But Habersham has the lead, 7-6 to six over Lanier, 6-11 to go in your first quarter. You just joined us, Baylor Henshaw went 43 yards uh, to give Habersham the lead. 
with the extra point. With the extra point. That's true. Third down and two. And we want to throw it. Going to come to the near side. Going to be caught by Jim Barnett for a first down to the 30-yard line. Can't get away from that first man that got him around the ankle. So he got caught by the first man, and he hung on to him. That was Odarian Thompson. But a big completion there as Habersham got across the 30 to about the 33-yard line for that first down, Chris. Yeah, just a soft coverage over here and just five yard out. And good throw that time by A.J. First down and 10. And we want to throw again. Short one over here again to Barnett. Barnett looking for a block, and he'll have about five, yeah, about five yards before he's shoved out of bounds. Again by Darian Thompson. So Habersham's uh, eating that play up right now. Well, this, uh, this type of offense has made a living with the short throws and letting your receivers make plays. And I thought last week we really got into a mode where we were letting a lot of routes take a long time to develop. And tonight we're getting rid of the ball quickly. Weatherton in motion. Going to give it off to Henshaw. And Henshaw's got nowhere to go, thrown backwards. Big defensive tackle. Jason Wallace made the tackle for the Longhorns. Going to bring up third down. May have lost about a half yard. Yeah, Wallace, definitely a big defensive tackle, isn't he, David? 275 junior. Kind of looks like our 92, Wiley, sitting there in the middle of the line of scrimmage for Lanier. Third down, third and six from the 37-yard line. We want to throw. A.J. Pumps looks, looks, got time, comes to the near side. Going to throw long, looking for Donnie. Donnie overthrown. A little bit under uh, on the other shoulder as well. Yeah, it was, but he had him, and he uh, maybe just kind of quit running the route at full speed, and if he continues to run that thing at full speed, he catches that one on the fly, and he scores. Now he's kind of coming off favoring his left arm and hanging it down to his side but good ad lib that time by Donnie just to release but I think if he releases on the full go and, and does it kind of wait on AJ to throw it that's six for Aversham. Escamilla going to kick the ball is high and short and they get away from it and it's going to get a sideways bounce and should be Longhorn ball around the 38 yard line. So Habersham back out there defensively, 4.57 to go here in your first quarter. Habersham on top by one point, seven to six. And Donnie being looked at, that means Jim will roll in there. Jim Barnett will roll in there at that free safety spot. Uh, him and uh, Pickett will switch sides, and Pickett will play in his spot, and Jim will play over there on the left. All right, so Calzada, your quarterback, they got too tight look this time, and they're going to run the ball with uh, Barnes. Barnes on the carry, not much. Well, maybe three yards for Barnes. Tackle was made by Ferguson and Jim Barnett. So he got three, three and a half yards there on first down. Good from job second. by Jim as well to get up the field quickly. Even though they did get four, he was back there in the backfield. No scrimmage from the 42-yard line, their own 42. Calzada in a shotgun, has it, wants to throw to the near side, and caught but hit immediately and brought down quickly by Carson Moore, slung him around. Catch was by Lockett, tackle made by Carson Moore. Oh, man, he's coming up limping bad, David, holding that left knee. Maybe they just bang knees against each other. Maybe that's kind of what it looks like. We'll see, but he'll have to come out. Bryce Tanner's in to replace him. Third and two. They're at the 46-yard line. They're on 46. Habersham's got a forefront. They're in a shotgun. And Habersham jumped off sides. And we'll give it to him the easy way there. Just got to be focused there. Gave us a hard count, and we jumped in the neutral zone. So third and two after the penalty results in a first down. of. So Longhorns move the chains by the way of penalty. 3.48 to go here in the first quarter. Habersham leads 7-6. They got two out here on the left. Got a split right. They put uh, Fuller in motion. And they're going to stay on the ground with Barnes. And Barnes going to go up the middle. Barnes on the carry. Got a solid nine yards. A late flag. Yeah, that's going to be a late personal foul against uh, Lanier there, David. Pickett. Now Bryce Tanner's limping, favoring the left ankle. 
So Pickett made the tackle. And we're going to bring in our freshman, Clay Gosnell. Maybe somebody just stepped on Bryce's foot or something. Or check it. I'm sorry. Looked at it incorrectly. Gosnell's a senior. So we got Carson Moore and, and Donnie Curry over here underneath the trainer's tent being looked at. Gosnell will come in for Bryce Center. I think he just got stepped on, but that's a late personal foul penalty against Lanier. Back we'll take him. it, Chris. Yeah, we'll take, take it and back him up to about the 45-yard line um, of Lanier. Be a first down and 15 for them. Habersham leads 7-6, 331 here in your first quarter. They got Lockett out here on the, on the left. Got two on the right. Second down, second down in uh, 16. They're going to hand the ball off there to Barnes. Barnes. Going to get brought down there by our linebacker, Garrett Kinsey. So Barnes on the carry. Got tackled by Kinsey. Right at, right at midfield. Right on it. Right on that strike. Just almost an immediate cutback, David, as if they think that might be something that they can attack this Raider defense with. And um, But good job by Kinsey. Donovan Curry back in the game, as is Bryce Tanner. Gosnell still walking around. Yeah. I mean, uh, check it. Carson, Carson Moore. Moore yeah. yeah. Linebackers now. We got Kinsey and uh, who is that? Makovic in there. Carson Taylor getting a breather now. Third down, third and 11. Going to run a reverse. They want to throw the ball out of the reverse. Got a man wide open and incomplete. And a flag. I'll tell you, David, I saw them on film against Winder. Run almost the same thing. They'll, you know, make you think run, make you think run, and then you get to looking in, and uh, that time they got behind us. But uh, give Ross credit there. His speed closed the gap on what would have been an easy touchdown play and uh, committed to pass interference, but that was a good time to commit to pass interference call. Yeah. Uh, Ferguson was the one that threw the ball. He underthrew it a little bit, gave Ross time to, to, you know, catch up to the receiver who had gotten behind him. He was running a post pass. Was it Ross or Pickett? I, I thought it was Ross. We'll go down to Mark in just a minute. First down and 10 after the penalty from the 35-yard line of Habersham Central. Calzada hands the ball off. They got a big hole over there for Harper. Harper on the carry. Nice tackle that time by Donovan Curry. Looked like Harper was going to get a lot more than he did. He got down to about the 31-yard line. Good run support. Mark, was that Pickett or Ross on the coverage? So second down. We'll get back down to Mark here in just a second. Second down and six from the 31-yard line of Habersham. Calzada's got two backs with him in the backfield. They hand the ball off there to Fuller, and Fuller going to dance around and juke his way up to about the 26-yard line. Tackle made by Carl Fell. It's going to be third down and short for the Longhorns. See if we can come up with a defensive stand now as they're knocking on the door to get in the red zone. Third and one from about the 26-yard line. Habersham leads seven to six here early. But late in the first quarter, 136 to go in the period. Third down and one, as Chris said, Calzada in a shotgun. And they hand the ball off there to the running back, Harper. And Harper's got the first down. It looked like he moved early to me. I thought somebody moved early, too. I didn't. Well, I don't see a flag, but I thought somebody moved just a step early as well. But no call on the, no flag on the play. Tackle was made by Donovan Curry on uh, Larry Harper. Gave him four yards, first and 10. They're at Habersham's 22-yard line. Got a man in motion from left to right. They got two tight ends in there. Going to run the running back right up the gut. That is Harper again. Harper just pushed right back. Just pushed right back. Big Greg Wiley, the sophomore, pushed him back, Chris. Well, Wiley made a play there, that's for sure. Got rid of the nose guard, or excuse me, the center from that nose guard position and just ate the, the running back up. Right there at the line of scrimmage, nice play. Cabbage stalk comes in now as Greg Wiley goes out, hurting. Second down 10, no gain on that last play. Calzada in his shotgun. He's got uh, 
Fuller to the left of him. Got a bat behind him. That's Polk. And he fakes it. Going to roll right on the bootleg. Calzada looks. Looks. Going to throw toward the end zone. Intercepted. Oh, no. Almost intercepted by Habersham's Donovan Curry. Couldn't hang on to it. Dropped it. Right in his hands. Boy, Mark, not sure what Calzada was looking at. We bid on the play fake. He got outside on the bootleg, and he could have run for a first down, but decided to throw it right to Donnie, and, boy, he'd like to have that one back. Yeah, Donnie closed well on that, and usually, you know, your defensive backs are guys. That's why they play defensive back, because they can't catch the ball. But, of course, Donovan is one of our <laughs> best receivers, so you think, man, he's got this one. Unfortunately, he dropped it, and he's as mad as anybody out there that he did. And that would have gave us the ball back on this drive. But, but good play, good close play. At least he knocked it down, set up a third and ten. Yeah, the third and ten from the 22-yard line. They got a man in motion from right to left. They're in the white. We're in the navy. Calzada, straight drop, looks, looks. Going to go toward the corner. Got a man, incomplete overthrown. Had a man open. That was Chris Lockhart, but overthrown. Now it's going to be fourth down and ten. Well, had to be a really good throw right in the middle of the field and threw it all the way back across to the sidelines at about the 10 yard line and just overthrew him, sailed on him. Fourth and 10, they going for it guys. Looks like it with 26 seconds to go. Unusual call to go for it on fourth down. So Calzade in a shotgun, got two right. And Habersham, did they jump in the neutral zone? No, they didn't, not this time. Habersham's got a forefront. That's probably what this was all about to try to get us to jump. Yep, timeout. Timeout by Lanier, 26 seconds to go. We're, we got uh, 26 seconds in the first quarter. Habersham leads it by one, seven, six commercial break. We'll be right back. And that's one of the biggest roadblocks with customer service. The customer feels like they're talking to a robot. I'm able to loosen that up, keep it from feeling that way. I've had several calls that really leave an impression on me and I'm, I feel like I leave an impression on them. Well, my name is Josh Brown and I'm a customer care representative. My name is Melissa. I am a customer care rep at Windstream. The educated customer is going to be a much happier customer. Our commitment is simple. Provide a best in class customer experience through our network and our people. All right, back here at Raider Stadium, 26 seconds to go in your first quarter. They had fourth and 10 from the Habersham 22. Looked like they were trying to get us to jump. Uh, we didn't, they called timeout. Let's see if they come back out though with their offense they and do. not that field goal unit. Yeah, they're gonna try to go for it here on fourth and 10. Fourth and 10 from Habersham's 22 yard line. Calzada in a shotgun. He's got trips right, got a split left. Habersham coming on a blitz right up the gut. Calzada wants to throw toward the corner and it's gonna be caught, no, incomplete. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, oh man, dropped it, Chris. Oh, he had us, too. It's man-to-man. -man. They went man-to-man -man over there uh, against Ross. Had good coverage. Kind of a back shoulder throw a little bit, Mark. And it looked like they were going to, dang, make a play on us and be first and goal for the two, but he dropped it. Yeah, not surprising they went for it there. you got to remember, they missed the extra point pretty badly. So, evidently, they're not real comfortable with their kicking game. So, I'm kind of surprised they went for it there. I mean, not surprised that they went for it. But you're right, Chris. That was a good throw, and he looked like he had it. I kind of was waiting for a late flag. They already called us with one. Thought they might get us another there. But good job by Rayburn on the coverage there, and he dropped the ball. So, gives us the ball back. Lockhart was the intended receiver. Habersham run throw option, and this time our quarterback's going to keep it and pushed out of bounds over here on the near side. Got across the 25 to about the 26-yard line. Pushed out of bounds there by Thompson. As it, like you said, run, throw, option, play, David. But to the short side of the field, they read it that time, but we'll take four yards on that play. Second down, 15 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Clock is stopped as Curry was forced out of bounds. So we got our play. We got Bryce Tanner over there by himself on the left side. We got two over here on the near side. We're in that shotgun. Henshaw's your running back. Play action. We want to throw. Looking. Got time. Now he's forced out of the pocket. Going to run. He's going to tuck it and run and slides down to the 30-yard line. Hmm. He slid. Then somebody came in, hit him, and looked like it hit on top of him, but no flag. Good job. Good decision that time by A.J. And there's the horn as Tarrant Taryn Grant made that last tackle, Chris. So timeout, end of one quarter. When we come back, it'll be third down and three for Haversham Central. We're, Haversham leads by one, seven, six. Commercial break, we'll be right back. I'm Bill Miles, post commander of the Grant Reeves Post 7720, veterans of foreign war and army veteran of 28 years. I served in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Desert Storm. I'm supporting the Haversham Chambers Freedom Run at Lake Russell, because a portion of all proceeds benefit the Habersham Veterans Wall of Honor. We honor the dead by serving the living. Join me on November 4th 
by participating in the 5K or the one mile fun run along beautiful Lake Russell. Register now on active.com or at the Habersham Chamber of Commerce in Cornelia. Sure. All right, back here at Raider Stadium on third down and three, Habersham gonna run the ball and they'll run their quarterback, A.J. Curry, out to the right and he'll be he'll sprint his way to the sideline and I think he's gonna be pushed out short of the first down, Chris. As you're yeah. looking at it through the binoculars. Yeah, it's bottom at the 31. Looks like it needs to get to the 32. Uh, just short of the 31 is where the ball is going to be spotted. So it would be just a little over a yard uh, for a first down and just too risky of a play here to go for it. We'll bring on the punting team. Well, we just went really quarterback sweep there. We just didn't quite get enough blocking out there on the edge to get A.J. to the corner and pick up that first down. All right, we got five seconds on the play clock. And we better hurry, two seconds, and we don't get it off. Or timeout by Habersham. Timeout as we were about to get a penalty there on fourth down and one. So timeout again, 11.24 to go here. And your half, Habersham Central leads 7-6 commercial break. We'll be right back. Hello, I'm John Foster, veteran and former Georgia State Senator. I support the Habersham Chamber's Freedom Rod at Lake Russell because a portion of the proceeds benefit the Veterans Wall of Honor. But it also raises funds for the Chamber's educational projects. You may register now on active.com or in the Chamber office. Participate in either the 5K or Fun Run to be held November 4th. It's an enjoyable morning at beautiful Lake Russell and it makes you feel good. Chris Black with you back here at Raider Stadium. We were late getting our punt team out there. At least one guy was late and uh, had to call timeout or we'd have backed ourselves up five more yards. That's Chameleon punt formation. And he's got it. Got away the kick, a pretty good kick. Lockhart calls for a fair catch and has it right at the 44 yard line. So Lockhart with a fair catch and they've got pretty good field position. Gainesville zero to Kula seven, only region, other region game in the in our region tonight. There's Winder. Winder is off. And so is Appalachian. So is Appalachian. Yeah. Nothing going on in Barrow County tonight. No, kind of <laughs> quiet down there now. They're yeah. trying to figure out what to do, I guess. First and ten for the Longhorns. They're working left to right. They're gonna stay on the ground with the running back, Harper. Harper, not much around that. Left side as they try to take it over there. Left guard, left tackle, but Harper, not much at all. Maybe a yard, that'll be it. Tackle was made for Haversham by Gosnell. Gosnell in there playing that outside linebacker position. Second down, second nine. Calzade in a shotgun. And a little play action pitch over there late. And Habersham has a chance to get him in the backfield, and they do. They're going to bring him down around the 40-yard line. The carry was by Harper. Harper just trying to use that speed to get around the corner. Couldn't do it. Tackle was made by Makovic along with Carson Moore. McAvick has a nose for the football. Since they moved him over there, you know, he's he's played pretty well. Missed last week's game, certainly could have used him, but he really recognized that option play and just fired himself up the field that time and made a good open field tackle. Third and 15 now for Lanier. So they got third and long here. They got a tight end, right, or two tight ends in the ball game. Third down and long. We'll play action. Calzada wants to throw, looks. Looks, going to go long, got a man breaking open, going to be overthrown incomplete. Had a man open. Is that big wide out they got? Let's see. That is uh, Ferguson. Yeah. Mark, now they'll have to punt it away. Yeah, yeah, boy, they went play action, and Mark, Coach Black not happy, talking to his young freshman, 
just can't let the free safety, just can't let that guy run by him. He's got to get deep. Yeah, he's got to know the down distance. It's fourth and 15, so any underneath route you're going to give him and just try to make the tackle. But what you don't want to do there is let the guy get behind you. And they did a little play action fake, but we shouldn't even care about that. And you just don't let the guy run past you, and he did. That's why Coach Black's out on the field letting his guys know you can't. Hey, and the punter's down with his knee there. The snap, the snap, and he went down on his knee. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to get the ball in great field position because the punter kneeled down. I hate to, sorry, David, I didn't mean to talk over you there, but uh, but I was trying to explain. But yeah, they uh, they did. The coach Black's upset about it, but now we get the ball in great field position. Almost call that a, a turnover as the punter low snap. I guess, I guess it's just a rush by him. Uh, yeah, Deku. Yeah, went to his right knee to field it, and as soon as he caught it with a knee on the ground, it's a dead ball. Habersham will scrimmage from the 27 yard line. First and ten. Lanier's 27. Yeah. So Habersham got a break here with 9.50 to go here in the half. Seven to six, we lead. Habersham working right to left. We're in the Navy. They're in the white. A.J.'s going to be in a shotgun. Got four wide here. A.J. has it, looks, wants to throw pressured, steps up, throws over the middle, going to be incomplete. Pass intended for Donovan Curry. He was double covered. That double covered, but he had both of them on his backside hip and running a uh, post toward the middle of the end zone. Threw it behind him a little bit. Donovan tried to make a circus catch with his left hand. And we took a shot there immediately and just mishit it a little bit. Second down 10 again there at the 27 yard line of uh, Lanier. Four wide again. We got actually, uh, yeah, uh, Henshaw's out there on the right side. We got a slot. That's Weatherton on the right side. They're showing blitz from the corner. We've got Donovan in motion, fake it to him. And AJ going to run right up the middle, lowers his head and fighting for yards gets across the 25 to about the 24-yard line. So A.J. on the carry. Tackle made by Johnson along with Ludwig. Yeah. So we're looking at third and long, Chris. Fake jet sweep trying to draw one of those linebackers out of the box a little bit. Didn't quite work. Be third and seven. Boy, they've given you great field position, guys. You need to take advantage of it here. Habersham, two of four on third down conversion so far here in the ball game, 50%. Third down, I'm going to run. No, I'm going to pull it. No, he gives it to a running back, Baylor Henshaw, and Baylor got across the 20 to about the 18-yard line. Looks like he'll be about a yard short for Baylor Henshaw on the carry. Tackle made by Bergman. Fourth down, Chris, fourth and about. Four, close to two. Yeah. Maybe a yard and a half. We're, we're not thinking about it at all. We're going to go for it. Fourth down and two. A.J. in a shotgun. Stands up, looks back toward Coach Harrison and those three guys in funny colored shirts. Fourth down. 840 to go here in half. We want to throw. Going to lob it to the end zone looking for looking for Bryce Tanner, and it's going to fall incomplete. I'm not sure if that's the play Coach wanted. Wanted us to run there. I, I, Mark, I just have a hard time to believe that's what he wanted to do on fourth and two. As you can see, Coach Harrison's frustrated there. Yeah, he was trying to throw what's called quake. We call it the inside receivers run a quick out. The outside receivers basically clear, and the inside receivers are running the quick out. And he definitely wanted Taryn Westbrook wide open, by the way, right here in front of me in the flat. For some reason, A.J., and they're letting him know right now he kind of threw it to the wrong receiver. A.J. was trying to go for the touchdown with Bryce in the corner and basically threw out of bounds, but Taron was wide open with the quick out, and that's who they wanted to get. Yeah. Yeah, it was clear. That's what Coach definitely intended for him to throw it to. Calzada in a shotgun. has got a man in motion. And they're going to fake it. No, Ooh. they don't. They hand the ball off. Nice play by Zach Ferguson. Ferguson with a big-time play in the backfield. Loss of a three on that one. And back to that play on AJ, you know, as you know, that's that's the part of playing this position truly for the first time. And uh, you just know the down and distance and the situation and get those three yards from uh, boy, I know Coach Harrison wanted to pull his hair out on that throw as he tried to go for the score. Second down thirteen. They got Fuller in motion. They want to throw. Going to go out there. Oh, through behind full. That's a lateral, That's but lateral. It goes, yeah, it goes out of bounds. They're going to spot it right there, David. That's yeah, it's a good a point. Loss of about seven. On That's the a play. rush. That's a rush by the quarterback. Because that's, that's a loss on the play. Back to the beyond the or be inside the ten. Back to the nine yard nine line. yard line. 
Yeah, that's a lateral. Threw it to his uh, running back out of the backfield and threw it behind his his left shoulder as he's running toward the Lanier sidelines. And and uh, that'll be third and about 20. 20. Yeah. How about that, Chris? It's a shame it wasn't underthrown <laughs> to where it stayed in bounds where we could have picked it up, but it went straight out of bounds. Calzada, third down and 20. Got trips right, going to throw a little screen, and we hit him immediately. Nice play that time by Luke, Luke Wilson. Well, he just played some football right there. Saw the screen all the way, stayed at home, and just made a beautiful tackle for a loss. What were we talking about now? As the officials, I don't see a flag on the play. Do you guys? I don't see anything, Chris. Mark, what do you got? There is a flag over here. They got a they got a flag way over here on our sideline, and I'm not sure what the call, what the call is. Coach Harrison don't seem to be too happy about. It. Oh, just a sideline warning on us. So no, no effect. Just a sideline warning on one of our coaches. So uh, no. No foul, no penalty, just a warning. The next one will be a penalty. So, scared me there for a minute. I wasn't sure if we're going to give up that good play by Luke Wilson. So, they're going to be forced to punt here. Fourth and 20. So, another good job by our defense, Chris. Defense is stepping up. They stopped in the last four drives. So, we got to have hope our offense will make something out of this great field position again. Was that well, last flat pass incomplete? No, it was called. No, no Luke, no, Luke called. stuffed him. But well, did they give him any yards lost? No. Tackled him at the line of scrimmage. All right. There's the punt and a returnable punt for Donovan Curry. Curry's got it at the 45 and can't get away from the first man that got him. Curry on the care on the return. Tackle was made by Smith along with Thompson. Well, we didn't we didn't punt return block that that one that, well at all that time as that one was a returnable punt. Looked like maybe a chance we might do something with it and all of a sudden. Uh, nothing was there for Donovan, but as Mark said, another good defensive stand by Habersham. All plays were for a gain of, of a loss on the play, really. Just a great yeah. defensive series, and uh, we'll start this drive at the Lanier 45 as we lead 7 to 6. 7.28 to go here in the half as well. AJ in his shotgun wants to throw. Going to get, get up here to his brother, or no, check it. That's uh, Jim Barnett, a little short route. A little out, Chris. Uh, they got it to about to what the 38. Yeah, that time we put Jim in the slot, and uh, Bryce split out to his left, and that's the throw we wanted AJ to make the last time on fourth and two. Um, you can see how easily that one converted for a nice gain, and uh, but we got Jim kind of lining up in the slot, going to cause some problems, I think, for Lanier. Got Jim Barnett in motion, going to give it to her. No, going to pitch over there late to Barnett. Barnett's got it to 40. 35 and knocked up, knocked down there by the uh, cornerback, Thompson. So Barnett got the first down, though, Chris, it looks like. Or check it. Uh, Let's make sure. It's going to be close. Yeah, they're not going to move the chains for some reason, are they, or are they? I mean, the ball's on the 35. You better measure if you're not real sure. And the, you got to get to the 35. Well, if it's not, it's going to be. Just inches for a first. Linemen are in my way. I can't get a look at it with a binocular. Now we're going to bring the chains out, I think, and measure. Got 6.46 to go on the in the half, and Habersham up by 1.7 to 6. The way the game started, Chris, looked like we were in for another uh, uh, shootout, but now it's turned into a little defensive. Into defensive battle. Yeah. And we've really played good defense thus far other than the first series where – we didn't play good defense. We four play 49 yard drive uh, for Lanier, but since then we've really tackled well out in space and done a good job of getting a lot of tackles for losses. And we short looks like just by inches. By inches, I mean, just barely bring up third in inches for a first down. Or excuse me, that'd be second in inches well on it. No, you're no, right. Third, yeah. yeah. Yeah, third. So you got two plays, two tries to get an inch or two, I would say. Yeah, definitely. Third down in inches from the 36-yard line of Lanier. We got Jim Barnett in motion. We just give it to our full. No, we're going to pull it, and the quarterback's going to keep it. A.J. Curry going to come around this near side. And now he's kind of going backwards, and but he's going to get the first down as he got it across <laughs> The 34 to about the 33. He went back and forth for the first down several times. Well, there's another 
another instance, though, where he's got to really be aware of, of, the, of the situation. And uh, he had the first down and then came back inside, outside the 35 to try to pick up more. And um, he was afraid of there it was going to cost us, but he picked up two and we'll move the chains. Turner pushed him out of bounds first and 10 after the three-yard run by the quarterback. He got four wide. He got a running back. That's Baylor Henshaw. They're trying to show a little bit of a blitz maybe with that outside linebacker. And they're coming on the edge. Going to throw it over here to the near side. Caught by Bryce Tanner and then thrown out of bounds. Tanner made the catch. Taken out there by the linebacker, Nico. Well, they play, play a lot of man-to-man, -man, but they play it kind of soft. And uh, to Coach Harrison's credit, we're just taking advantage of it with a lot of short hitches. We'll move the chains again on that catch by Bryce Tanner. Seven to six, Haversham leads by one point. Empty set this time. Got five wide, got Donnie Curry in motion, then we toss it to him. Donnie wanting to try to run it around that right side, looking for a block, uses that speed. Got a flag, gonna be a hold probably. Got to across the 20 to about the 18-yard line, so Donnie Curry on the carry. Tackle made by Niku, but hold everything, Chris. Probably a hold or a Haversham retreating. Yeah, it'll be a hold on, on a lineman. They were trying to just get to the edge and help help Donnie get to the edge. But, but Mark, we'll come back to you on, on those slot receiver positions. It looks like a, a good matchup for us from that position tonight in the passing game. Yeah, they're playing real inside. You already said the corners are playing deep. And then on the slots, they're playing the safety on the slot well inside. So we have that quick out. Like you said a while ago, that was what the fourth down play earlier was supposed to be. So we got an advantage on the slot. And right now we're doing a pretty good job of, of attacking that. We just got to be patient. It's not going to be a big play or, you know, get you a lot of touchdowns. But if you're patient with it, it should open up something down the field later. That holding was on our running back there. So that gets us back. It's still first down. But now we're kind of back against the wall at first and over 20. Yeah, first and 21. A.J. wants to throw, comes to the near side, got it to Donnie. Donnie looking for a block and slips just about the 30-yard line. Tackle was made there by Ludwig along with Brown. Going to be second down. Donovan Curry got it to the 30-yard line, three yards on that pass play. Second down and 18. Ball is right on the 30 Yard line of Lanier, 5.30 to go here in your first half. Habersham still has a one-point lead. A.J. in his shotgun wants to throw, looks, looks, looks. Going to throw it, going to be caught by Bryce Tanner across the 15 and then brought down by about four white jerseys at the 14-yard uh, line. Tackle was led there by the safety, Oliver Wise. Well, the big offensive line gave A.J. a nice, clean pocket that time. He stepped up into it and... And Bryson just settled into the zone there. Nice throw and catch, third and manageable two for a first down. Westbrook comes in, out goes Curry. Here we go, giving it to Taryn right here on the quick hitch. AJ puts uh, Weatherington in motion. Now we're going to hand the ball. We're going to, yeah, give it to our big running back, Baylor Henshaw. Henshaw is going to drive for the first down, got it down to about the 10-yard line. Nice effort that time by Aversham. Got an injured player on the field, Trey Weatherington. So, injury timeout as Trey Weatherington's down. That last tackle was by Turner. Timeout on the field, injury timeout. 4.43 to go. Haversham leads by one, seven to six. Commercial break. We'll be right back. Hi there. I'm David Turner, and I'm here to invite you to a very worthwhile an exciting event that's going to take place in Habersham County. We're going to have the Freedom Run 5K road race at Lake Russell on November the 4th. As a year-round runner, I've traveled a good bit around the states, having a lot of fun and a measure of success. But to come home and support this very worthwhile cause is special for me. Our Veterans Wall of Honor is making wonderful progress. The Chamber of Commerce does a year-round work of worthy causes, and we need to support both of these things. So if you can make it and join me, I'd invite you to come, and you can register on active.com, or you can go by the Chamber office. If you wish to get a group together, even better, we'll give you a discount on the race. We'll look for you there. 
Welcome back here to Raider Stadium. That, that is a good sign. Trey Weatherington is, is walking off under his own power, was, was holding and grabbing that left leg area, knee area, but it looked like uh, Lindsey Dillback, the trainer, was looking below the knee at the you know calf area, shin area, so we'll get a report on him. But uh, Habersham, first and goal from the 10 of Lanier. All right, so we're at the 10-yard line, and we're going to run our, run it back, and he's got room. He's got a touchdown. He got it over at left tackle and got in from 10 yards out. Habersham took it on the scoreboard again, and that's two now for Baylor Henshaw. Yeah, good good read, Mark. I'm going to assume by A.J. that time was we run the option play, but uh, better blocking once again for Henshaw as he almost goes in untouched again. Yeah, good job. We, we down blocked with the guard and the, and the center on the nose and just cleared out space, and A.J. did a good job reading that in. That in kind of had to stay there and honor A.J., and as a result, Baylor went in. Again, pretty much untouched, so good job by our offense there. Got a penalty on the extra point here. I'm not sure what it is, but a good answer by our offense there. I mean, our defense is playing lights out right now. After that first touchdown, early touchdown, defense has given the ball back to the offense every time. And finally, we've done something with it here late in the second quarter. Unfortunately, we got some movement on the line, so it's going to be a little bit longer extra point to him. But there, that's a good job by our offense there scoring on that uh, drive. Yeah, it was. We, we didn't capitalize on the punt that they turned it over to us as a punter. Uh, put his knee on the ground to field the punt at the 32 and didn't capitalize there, but we did turn that drive and good defense to stand into points. So Escamilla now has a 25-yard field goal. The extra point is up there, and it is a little right, and but got it through there good. Well, he, he didn't hesitate as he went down to pick up the tee, so he knew it was good, but he just barely squeaked through there. Habersham, eight plays, 45-yard drive, touchdown run again by Baylor Henshaw. He's got six carries for 61 yards and two touchdowns right now. Habersham leads 14 to six. And guys, this defense has got to continue to play with the intensity they played here in this first quarter and a half. No yeah. letdowns here. That's one, been one thing when we've taken a lead, we've had a mental breakdown and let them get right back in it. Starts right here with the kickoff return too. That's right. Escamilla back out there to kick it off for the Raiders. And Habersham's got the 14-6 lead. And they're going to send, uh, let's see, back deep. One of the guys is going to be uh, Ferguson. He's back there for the first time, along with Fuller. And who's the other one? They're all bundled up over there. Now they break. It's uh, Thompson. There's a kick high and short. Looks like they're going to call for a fair catch, and they got it right to the 32-yard line. Let's see, the fair catch was by... Turner, one of those linebackers for them. They're not going to kick it deep, looks like, Chris. No, and Escamilla has gotten really good at, at kicking that thing high and short, allowing the kick kick coverage team to, to cover it very well, and uh, that time just forced them to call a fair catch with that up back. Now they put it back to the 29-yard line. Well, Habersham, if you're just tuning in, 14-6, to six, we're on top. 4.33 to go here in your first half. First down and 10 for the Longhorns. Calzada in a shotgun toss. Oh, they fumbled the pitch and picked up by Fuller. Fuller in all kinds of trouble back there. He fumbled the pitch and got it and then was swarmed over by about four white, uh, blue jerseys. So tackle was other. Let's see, I guess the first guy there may have been Ferguson. Then Luke Wilson came second along with a couple other blue jerseys. Just a lot of blue jerseys, but. Your tailback just didn't look it in, just the simple things. And, boy, that would have been really big had he not been able to pick that one up on the first bounce. Second down and 19 now. Calzada in a shotgun. The, the snap is low, and he's going to fall down. He's pressured heavily by Zach Ferguson. Ferguson will get credit for the sack there as, uh, as Calzada was wanting to throw, but he slipped down. Well, he had to pick it up off the ground to start with on the snap. But once again, though, Ferguson, that's about three times. Uh, he's been in the backfield quick off the ball, and uh, he's winning the battle up front against his guy. Now it's going to be third down and about 27 for a first. Now after those free safeties, don't get caught looking in on a play fake. Don't let the post get deep on you. Got three receivers in the route. Third down, 27. They're back at the 12-yard line. That not started the play clock yet, Chris. Now they call time. 317 to go here in the half. Habersham leads 14-6, commercial break. When we come back, we'll be looking at a third and 27, don't go anywhere. 
Hello, I'm Ed Vaughn of Cornelia and a veteran of the Vietnam War. I'm participating in the Havisham Chambers Freedom Run at Lake Russell because a portion of the proceeds will benefit the Veterans Wall of Honor. The wall honors all veterans and troops serving now and promotes a healthy, active lifestyle. Get out and get moving and join us on Saturday, November the 4th at Lake Russell. Register now on active.com or at the Haversham Chamber office for the 5K or the fun run. All right, guys, uh, back here at Raiders Stadium. Haversham leads 14 to six. We've got one timeout left here in the half, but more importantly, Lanier is faced with a third and 27 from the Haversham 13, 12 yard line, it looks like. So last time they had this situation, they went to a screen and Luke Wilson uh, sniffed it out the entire way and tackled him for no gain on the play. Look for him to challenge us with him maybe a little bit more than a screen, but you gotta believe Haversham not gonna let anybody get behind them here. We've got three deep. Pickett, Curry, and uh, Rayburn Ross back at the 30, ball spotted at the 12. The third down and forever. Calzada in a shotgun. Play action, gonna roll, wants to throw, gonna get it out there, a little screen, and it's, oh, they get him in the end zone and we bring him down. Did we get him in the end zone oh. as, as Carl fell, got him down. Pass was caught there by Barnes. Barnes caught it, brought down by Carl Fell, and they're gonna Man. put it right at the one yard line. Golly, how's that not a safety? I guess they'll say he was out of the end zone just enough, but great job by Carl Fell. They tried to roll left, making it look like bootleg, and then they were gonna come back with just a safe screen pass. Mark, somehow or another, he's not spotted in the end zone, but spotted at the one. Most of his body was in the end zone, but the ball was across. He did have the ball just hanging out enough across the line that they didn't get him the safety. But boy, you're right, Chris, it was awful close. Good job by Carl and our defense there to get the ball back. And again, we're gonna have great field position because he's punting this in the back of the end zone and we're gonna have good field position for our offense with plenty of time. There's a snap, Deku got away the kick, end over end, returnable for Donovan Curry. He drops it, Donovan picks it up and trying to return it, going to go to the far side, looking for some room and gets tackled around the 37-yard line. So Donovan Curry tackled over there about the 37-yard line. Let's see, tackle was made for the Longhorns by Brown. <laughs> also there was uh, Johnson. 2-11 to go with one timeout. Haversham with the ball at the Lanier 37-yard line. Boy, that felt like that was a missed opportunity as that punt came out from deep in the end zone and Donovan drops it and I think if he catches that one, boy, he's got a chance to really give us good field position on that return. But we got the ball back with 2.11 to go. We're first and 10 from their 37-yard line. AJ going to have an empty set. We got uh, Carl Fell in there as a slot back with the absence of uh, Trey Weatherton. Now Jim Barnett's going to try to run the ball, looking for some room. Barnett going to get across the 35 to about the 33-yard line. So Jim Barnett getting another rush on the uh, ball. Game tackle was made by Ludwig. Also in on the stop was the linebacker Malik Johnson, going to be second down. And Carl is in there because Weatherington is out with that injury. Not sure about his status. Maybe Mark can get us an injury update. Second down and six. A.J. in the shotgun, got Baylor Henshaw in there this time. Snapped, got it, pump's going to go, looking for a man that's going to be overthrown intended for Bryce Tanner. Tried it's to be fit third it in down. between the free safety and the cornerback that time, and they had him covered up pretty well. Donnie Curry back in, out goes Westbrook. Boy, points right here would be huge. We lead 14 to 6. It'd be huge. We've got a great opportunity here, second and third and seven. Third and six from, from the Lanier 33-yard line. 134 to go in the half. A.J. in a shotgun, four wide. And we fake it, going to throw it over there quickly to Jim Barnett. Barnett goes to the ground to catch it across the 30, but not enough for a first down. So Barnett with the catch. Tackle was made there by Thompson. That'll be fourth and almost three, guys. We'll go for it, but. That one, Jim had to go down to the ground to catch it. If it's thrown up high where he could run after the catch, likely would have picked up the first down that time. So Baylor Henshaw comes split out to the left. So we'll have an empty set. Uh, Carl Fell, Barnett, and Courier on the right. 
Henshaw and Tanner over here on the left. We want to throw A.J. pressured. You better get rid of it. And drops all the intercepted it. Oh, no. They're going to return it for a touchdown. Interception by the big defensive lineman, Wallace. That's just what we didn't need to have happen, Chris. Unbelievable. No flags, and he did catch it. Yeah. I guess he did. They came with the blitz, and A.J. saw it, but unable to get rid of it quick enough, was trying to throw it instead of taking the sack, and that time, big mistake for trying to get rid of it. And Coach Harrison can't believe that happened along with everyone else over here on the Raiders sideline. 14 to 12 is your score. So the big defensive lineman, 270 pound junior, just intercepted a pass and took it the way all the distance to the for the touchdown for the Longhorns. So now I would assume they're going for two right here, Chris. Yeah, big play here. Man, alive. I can't believe that just happened. We've dominated this half. And once again, we feel like our backs are up against the wall and things are working against us. But let's see if this defense can come up, Mark, with a huge two-point conversion stand and um, – We'll kick off to them to start the second half. Yeah, I mean, you know, you feel bad for A.J. That's just a player trying to, you know, sometimes do too much with the ball. And maybe, you know, some quarterback inexperience showed there a little bit. I think he was trying to dump it off to one of his backs. He's showing Coach Harrison right now what he was trying to do with the ball on an iPad they got down here. But you just got to eat that ball. And Coach Harrison's going to tell him that, you know, eat that thing and take the sack. Don't try to make something out of another, especially when we're going to take the lead into the half. Now they got a chance to tie it with a two-point play. So just, just you know, a tough play by our, by our quarterback there, and maybe our defense can get a stop here and at least have a two-point lead going in the half. All right. They're in a shotgun. Calzada takes the snap, wants to throw, going to get it, and incomplete, intercepted. But it's a two-point conversion, and we can't return it. But we denied. It was stopped by Donnie Curry. Well, good recognition by Donnie. He saw it all the way and jumped the little uh, pass out in the flats and picked it off. And uh, you feel much better about it right now. And you feel like we've just – you look at the stats we have. They've got 46 yards of offense. Mark, here in the first half, we've got 166. And we're only up by two, but uh, – Let's see if Habersham can maybe do something with 36 seconds. Yeah, and, you know, that's a tough break on the defense. You're going well. Your defense gave up, you know, 12 points, but, you know, six of those won theirs. So it was the offense that gave up six. But good job by Coach Harrison. I was watching him there, and he went back to his quarterback and patted him on the head, you know, and said, well, you know, we're still in this game. We're leading right now. Shake it off, and let's go play football. We're getting the ball back. I'm not sure what we can do with it with under 37 seconds. But good job by Coach Harrison to try to pump his quarterback up after a bad play. We still got a good half and right now you're right Chris we're playing good football both sides of the ball so that's got to be encouraging we just can't make mistakes and our quarterback knows that so let's see if he rebounds yeah, kickers holding the ball and acting like he wants to kind of kick one over there toward the Lanier sideline and onside kick let's see yeah that's what he's acting like Deku that's gonna, definitely what he's going to do I think they're going to roll the dice and try to get the ball let's it looks see like. Gets his run and start and uh, kicks it high and short and returnable for Jim Barnett at the 18-yard line. Barnett looking for some room, got, about to about, got up to about the 30-yard line with 31 seconds to go. So Jim Barnett got to the 29 or 30 there. <laughs> I think if you coach Harrison, you just run this football and maybe Henshaw breaks one longer or something, then you can take a ch chance. But um, with the way things could go when you throw the football, you might be better off to take this two-point lead and go to the locker room. 31 seconds to go. In our region, Gainesville losing to Decula. Let me get back to that score. Fourteen to nothing. AJ in that shotgun here on first and ten. Got Carl Fell in motion. And we give it to a running back, Baylor Henshaw. Henshaw going to be brought down at the 31-yard line. 
21 seconds to go. Tackle was made by Turner. Yeah, we won't run another play. All right, so that'll be the end of the half. So we lead here at the half by two. Your score, Haversham 14 and Lanier 12. I've always loved this type of work. I've always wanted to be in the communications type industry. Within our North Georgia market, we've been investing a lot of time and money and effort into upgrading our whole network. I love being able to fix things for customers, make things right. My name is Hope Crawford, and I am a business sales specialist with Windstream. I'm Keith Bradford. I'm a cable TV and installation repair technician for Windstream.